Hi everyone, this is Mitch from the Warren County Public Library. I'm going to show you how to access some of our online databases. So for a lot of these, you're going to need a special username and password um, because they are part of the Kentucky Virtual Library, or KYVL. If you have a library card with the Warren County Public Library, you or your adult can call and get that information from us. So the first thing you're going to do is go to our homepage, which is going to be warrenpl.org. You're going to scroll down and click on Explore online databases. And to get to Novelist, you're going to click on Books and Reading. And then it's going to be over here. So this is what Novelist looks like when you log in. There are lots of different ways to search for books. You can search by the name or the author that you like up here in the search bar. You can search by age group over here and lots of different other ways. So I'm going to show you an example. So we're going to go up here and we're going to type in Percy Jackson. So the first book listed here is Percy Jackson's Greek Heroes. So we'll take a look at that. So when you click on a specific book, it shows you the suggested age range, Lexile scores, AR levels, and the AR points that you would get for that book. So this has a Lexile score of 710, an AR level of 5.3, and it's worth 20 points. It also tells you things about the books like the genre and gives you a description of the book. If you've already read Percy Jackson and wanted to find books like it, you can check the right hand side for readalikes. So I'm going to scroll down and if I hover over Loki's Wolves, this book is by Kelly Armstrong and it is a read-alike to this Percy Jackson book because they are both attention grabbing, they both have mythological fiction and fantasy fiction as their genres, and they both cover Greek gods and goddesses as well as Norse gods and goddesses. So back on the home page, you can actually find uh, a couple of recommended lists in case you don't have anything in mind. So you go down here to the teen section, and then you could go down to the different genres. So let's go down to say humor. And we could do, let's do must read humor for teens. And these are some recommended must read humor books for teens. So these are gonna be through grades seven through 12. And keep in mind that not all of these books are going to be available at the Warren County Public Library, but we do have a lot of them. If there's a title that you find and we don't have it, you can suggest that we purchase it. You could also try getting it through Interlibrary Loan, which is where we get books from outside of the Warren County system. So we're here back on the online databases page, and we're going to go to Encyclopedias. And we're going to take a look at Britannica School. So Britannica School is provided to us through Kentucky Virtual Library, or KYVL, as you can see up here. So again, you'll need that username and password that I mentioned earlier. Britannica School is divided up by school levels, elementary, middle, and high. So I'm going to click on high school. So for high school students, you can easily search for biographies of famous people, explore what happened on this day in history, and search for information by topic. Each level of Britannica School is also available in Spanish. So again, we're going to go back to the database homepage, and we're going to take a look at Mango Languages. So from here, you're going to click on Language Learning, and then you're going to click on Mango Languages. Mango Languages is a free language learning database. If you have a library card with WCPL, you can create your own username and password to access Mango. If not, you can use Mango as a guest, though it will limit your use a little. So we're just going to pop in as a guest. So this is the Pick a Language page. These are the languages that Mango users most frequently want to learn. But there are over 70 languages on Mango. So let's take a look at one of the languages you could learn. Let's go down here to Norwegian. On the Learn page, you can take lessons on simple Norwegian words and phrases. And then on the Tools page, you can translate text from one language to another. So the next resource we're going to take a look at is Creative Bug. And to get there, we're going to go to Education and College Prep. And then down here is Creative Bug. Creative Bug is a database of classes and tutorials for just about any type of art or craft project that you can imagine. You have to have a library card with the Warren County Public Library in order to use Creative Bug, and your library card number is your login. So this is what the homepage looks like after you've logged in. To explore Creative Bug's classes, click on the C class list here. As you can see, there's hundreds of classes on sewing, knitting, crocheting, cooking, and paper craft. You can watch any of these classes for any projects that you're interested in. Each class tells you what you're going to learn throughout the video and what materials you'll need to complete that project. 
You can leave comments to ask the teacher or other students questions about the project. So the next database you're going to take a look at is Learning Express Library. So from the database homepage, you're going to click on Education and College Prep. Learning Express Library is provided by KYVL, so you'll need that username and password that I mentioned before. So Learning Express Library is a database of tests, tutorials, and ebooks that can assist you with your education. If you have a library card with WCPL, you can create your own username and password to access the Learning Express Library. Learning Express Library is divided up by school levels, elementary, middle, and high school. For each of these categories, you can pick from a variety of practice sessions and take practice tests. You can also access ebooks and tutorials. For college bound students, Learning Express Library also offers admissions test prep. For each of these exams, you can pick from a variety of practice sessions and take practice tests. If you're taking a practice test and aren't able to finish, Learning Express Library saves your place until you log in again to finish it. When you finish your practice test, Learning Express Library tells you which questions you answered correctly and which ones you missed. This feature is super helpful because it shows you what you need to focus on as you continue to study. So the next database we're going to take a look at is EBSCOhost. So from the online databases page, you're going to click on Research and Homework Help. EBSCO is part of KYVL, so you'll need that username and password. EBSCOhost is a database of articles on a variety of topics. Anytime you need to do research for schoolwork, EBSCOhost will be a big help. You can browse by topic on the homepage or search for topics and keywords to find articles. So the next database we're going to take a look at is called America's News. So back from the online databases page, you're going to go to research and homework help. America's News is going to be this one right here. So America's News is a great resource for news and information. It allows you to search by topic and it has great resources perfect for research, including newspapers, articles, blogs, websites, videos, and more. So another resource we're going to take a look at is Gale in Context Opposing Viewpoints. So from the online databases page, you're going to click on Research and Homework Help and then scroll down and it is right here. This resource is also provided by KYVL, so you'll need that username and password that I've mentioned before. Gale in Context Opposing Views is a great resource to get multiple viewpoints on a subject, person, or place. It provides articles, information, videos, and a lot more. And that's all for databases. This is Mitch from the Warren County Public Library. Thanks for watching.